My name's Don Winslow. I'm basically a novelist. I've spent about 20 years now writing about the drug situation in Mexico and Latin America and all over the world. So for Ghost Recon, me and my writing partner, Shane Salerno, wrote the stories and the dialogue for the various characters. When it comes to Don and Shane, we wanted them to do what they really know the best is help us regarding the why. What if this story happened and why? Their knowledge of the field, their knowledge of the cartel helped us bring this authenticity. You know, I, I never really wanted to write about this subject. You know, we're sitting here pretty close to the border. My family and I used to go down into Mexico for weekends. And in a little town where we used to go quite a bit, there were 19 people massacred. At that point, I knew nothing about the Mexican drug trade, the South American drug trade. I was just asking myself why and how could this happen? And that launched me a 20 year sort of odyssey trying to find the answers to those questions. He is really the specialist of this topic. We had some internal discussions, not just about, let's say, who's the most famous guy working on this, but also who could adapt to our work and be a good partner. And finally, our CEO, Yves Guillemot, had a look at the power of the dog that he loves a lot so it helps to establish the relationship. Usually takes reading about 200 books to write one of them. This is just part of the library of research books, some of which I used actually on this game. I typically start with legal documents. I start with court records, uh, FBI transcripts, CIA transcripts, police records, that kind of thing. Then I will go and read history books because I want a deep background. When I feel that I know enough that I can go out and ask people intelligent questions, that's when I'll go out and I talk with, boy, you name it, cops, drug traffickers, convicts, gangbangers, cartel people, uh, whoever is willing to talk to me. The workflow was great. They've done books, they've done movies, TV series. They right away understood how to work with us. They were excited by the fact that games are interactive, so they took time to understand how the game is organized. And then we basically worked with Eric, our creative director, and Sam, our narrative director, and that's why now the result we have is a strong story, but also a strong gaming background. A novel is basically static. The reader will pick it up and read it and put it down when he or she wants to. Film, you're always aware that it's more kinetic. Now you take us to a game like this, it's both. It's kinetic, but the person can pick it up or put it down. They can start choosing what happens. And so you're writing for a whole number of possibilities, which is interesting and exciting and fun. Specifically toward Ghost Recon, in my head, they started to take on real personalities because for me, they became real characters just the way they would when you're writing for a book and for a film. It's that exciting, it's that big, it has the big characters, the big story, the big issues that I'd love to see in film these days. It looks gorgeous. It's got the world right in the way that a film does. When I look at the footage, I go, wow, that's the real deal.